Hello, everybody. This is Let Me See Your Transcript, your very favorite history teacher. And I come to you, normally I come on here with a song. And today, I think I'm just going to read the words to you. Like the preachers at church say when they're reading the Bible and they're preaching and expounding on the word. And they're saying, this is what the author means. This is what the author says. This is what the author intended. And so today, I want to bring you some verses from Brother Nicholas. Brother Nicholas Frazier. He remixed a song, but the words really resonated with me today, especially after the news that uh, some members of the transcript committee Sent to me today. The name of the song, the songwriter wrote the song and said, Why are you always lying? Why are you always lying? So I'm going to read uh, the chorus. Why the fuck you lying? Why? Why are you always lying? Why? Huh? Oh my God. Stop fucking lying. Always lying to me. Why? You lying so much. Why? You're making it hard for me. Yeah. Every time you tell me something, I figure that you're lying. Always Almost like you faking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know you're lying. But you sound excited. And you know that I know you're lying, oh, girl. I'm going to keep on lying to you, yeah. Do you think it's the truth? Mm -hmm, yeah. Now, girl, I know you fibbing. Oh, you know you can't help it. You know what I want to know. Why the fuck you lying? For real. Why? You always lying. Why? Hum, oh my God. So stop fucking lying. Why? Always lying to me. Too much. Too much. You lying so much. You know, damn. You're making it hard for me. Why the fuck you lying? Okay. Why you always lying? You know. Hum, oh my God. Stop fucking lying. I was lying to me. And it's false. You're lying so much. Hmm, yeah, you're making it hard for me. Oh, my God. Yeah. Why the fuck you lying? I'm going to be crying. Why are you always lying? I'm, I'm going to change this part. Not on me, on yourself. Hmm, oh, my God. Oh, girl, stop fucking lying. You keep lying. Always lying to me so much. You lying so much, you know. You're making it hard for me. Just a little bit. Actually, a little bit, girl. Why the fuck you lying? God. Why are you always lying, Lee? Oh, my God. My God. Stop fucking lying. Oh, my God. Always lying to me. Oh, my God. You lying so much. Oh, my God. You making it hard for me. Why the fuck you lying? Why are you always lying? Um, oh my God. Stop fucking lying. Always lying to me. You lying so much. I know it's not the truth. You're making it hard for me. Thank you, Brother Frazier, Brother Nicholas Frazier, for those words. For those poignant, 
beautiful words. I will play the song, but I don't need a copyright claim. Jaguar Wright Johnson. Jacqueline Suzanne Wright Johnson. Why you always lying? Why are you always lying to me? Oh my God. You know you lie. You know you're not telling the truth. But today, what was reported to me it was worse than what I had imagined and worse than what we've been talking about for the last several months on panels, on videos, in chats. It's just worse than what we thought. So, please, there are 30 people in the chat. I only got 13 likes, okay? I need to have 30 likes, people. Please go get a friend. Do you have your drink? Because y'all know I'm a history teacher. I'm a nosy history teacher. Something a little messy. Some a lot messy. But I always come on here and try to give you the truth, expose the truth, share the truth, especially when I think somebody is being false. And sometimes that, that gets me into trouble. It does. But sometimes... It's a good thing because I want people to leave here not only entertain. I am here for entertainment with purposes only. But sometimes I also like to educate. But today what I learned, I, like, I can't keep this to myself. I got to come out here and tell the masses. Hello, Betty Yellick, Lindsay, D. Jones, Pixie Dust, 1958, Ava Collier, Care Bear. Shana Lewis, they hate God. I don't hate God, but you know, they might do. Hey, Golden Huggins, the Book of Negroes, Midwife K, Diggable Logic, so glad you can be here. Hey, Nina Loves, come on in the room. Y'all got y'all drink? Y'all got y'all a uh, uh, nice comfy seat? Okay. Um, just let you know what we're talking about tonight is not for anybody. This is NC-17, R-rated. Unless you got someone, a mature 16-year-old, I would say 17 and up. Okay? Um, think, you know, it's it's a thirsty Thursday. Whatever your drink of choice. It could be water, tea, uh, a cherry vodka sour, a beer, okay? Some Kool-Aid, okay? Just drink responsibly. <sighs> hey, I'm human first. So glad you could be here. So where should I begin? Let me see y'all can see my expressions. Because I'm going to be serious, but I'm also going to be, you know, humorous. That's why I have the disclaimer at the bottom. All things that I would say today are alleged and are my opinions and are things that was reported to me in the words of Bishop Earl Carter, who quotes, um, the uh, St. Paul in the letters to the Corinthians and to Timothy and to the Hebrews, the New Testament. Okay. Whew. How are y'all doing? I have a new camera I'm working with tonight, so I still need to do some adjustments so new camera tonight testing it out on y'all like i said it was reported to me so let's go back y'all 
Let's go back to two months ago. Hey, Stephanie Collins. How are you doing, my fellow Texas, Texas lawyer? Let's go back two months ago. And it was MLK weekend. And but, but before then, we saw Jaguar Wright with Solar and Shaka from Carbonation. For those of you who don't know, Carbonation is a cult. They practice some form of Christianity, some form of Buddhism, Islam, Muslim. Um, they're also known as a sex cult. Um, they were out in nature. They were in, in different countries, uh, different states. And um, the leader is currently in jail. His name is Eligio Bishop also known as Nature Boy, also known as Three God. Uh, and he had, well, he had six wives. Now I think he has five, maybe four. I think it's four now. Once he went to jail for uh, three counts of revenge porn and one count of the R word, he's been in jail for a year. He's had three bonds denied. Uh, I would say next month is coming up with a year anniversary of him getting arrested. One of the members, Janae, also known as Natiri, was trying to leave. And he forced himself on her. And then when she finally was able to leave, he put the sex tape on, it, on Twitter as revenge without her permission. Slowly, by the weeks go by, the members start to leave going back home or just going away. A lot of them came on the internet, was still talking about the knowledge they learned from Nature Boy. They were still sounding like a cult, but their leader was in jail. Then some like uh, True and uh, Sheba and their son, they left to go back home and then they got off the internet. Others like Solar, Shaka, Velvet, um, they still on the internet. And they're still acting like members of the cult. So when a lot of us saw Jaguar, right? 1990s, 2000s, Neo Soul artists hanging out with them on a video, we were like, what in the hell is going on? What did she, what did she hook up with this people? And we saw, um, now it's alleged that Shaka is her cousin. I don't know, maybe. Uh, but Solar was there because he had just broken up with Velvet. He was in a relationship with Janae Natiri. That didn't work out. She's currently pregnant with his child. Uh, he broke up with Velvet. And he ended up, because he didn't have a home, while Velvet went to California to be someone else's new wife. That didn't work out. She made a new friend. That relationship didn't work out. Um, but in the meantime, Solar has found himself a new job, a new position. He's become the nephew of Jaguar Wright. And so we're seeing these things on Instagram. And it just looks weird. Yeah, he was in Ohio. Left Ohio. There, thank you, um, Stephanie. We definitely need to get that to him. And there's a lot of people who have been following the Carbonation Cult. We watch King World. We've, we watched Kulu Live Streaming. We watched The T. We watched uh, Sweet Ma for Life. Watch Max V World Media. We know 
the history of the members of the cult. We know the history of what Solar did in the cult. He was a number two, sometimes a number three, number two man in the cult. According to him, uh, True was the most loyal uh, member of the cult, but Solar said he was the best. Okay. Whatever Nature Boy wanted, that's what he did. And he found himself in a similar situation. He was doing that for Jaguar Ride. But then we start seeing the expression on Jaguar's husband, Gerald Goomba Johnson's face. That he was not happy about this arrangement. And we started seeing this erratic behavior that didn't make no sense. Why Solar is there? In the middle of this married couple's relationship, they have a business called Philadelphia TV. They're on the road going to meetings. They're filming on real life productions. And then all of a sudden, we see one day, on official campaign, Jaguar tells us that her husband. Put a gun to her and try to shoot her. And we were all upset. We wanted to march. We wanted to shrink up Goomba. We were just upset about it. Solo was there giving his back, you know, his, his two, three, four, five cents, backing up Jag, backing up the store. They were in the car. We were just, oh, I can't believe he did this. But then the next day, we got a whole nother story. And we saw some things that made absolutely no sense to us. We saw a job all right, go into a barbershop to find her husband. And Solo was there filming it. Goomba pushes her aside and goes towards Solar because he had already told him and Jag, I don't want you around. Then all of a sudden, uh, she is getting her son's ashes and she's throwing it on her face. And we're just looking like, oh my God, this lady is going crazy. Had a respectful angle show. Diggable logic. Shaka, who was in carbonation, that is Jaguar's cousin. Also, Genesis is a friend of carbonation, and there she's friends with Jaguar. Solar broke up with Velvet. And he ain't had no place to go. So he ended up in Dallas. So Shaka introduces Solar to Jaguar. Back in Jaguar. Yeah, no bad juju, but he was a juju. Mm -hmm. He was a juju. Okay? So we see on this tape, next thing we know, we see her, the police, I guess, gets called. And she's put in a stretcher. And she's being taken on the ambulance. And then we see Goomba, he says, hey, um, my wife and Solar came up here uh, to beat me up or jump me. Uh, he's part of this sex cult. And I'm not the one that called the police on her. Actually, he was right about that. It was, it was someone else who was there who was afraid of his wife. Who called 911? And so we got to hear another part of the story that hey, he never drew the gun on Jaguar. She went and got the gun and told him, Why don't you just shoot me? Goomba 
Goomba was tired. He had been driving. Solar and Jag are acting very erratic, especially since the Chinese restaurant. When he went outside to make a phone call, he comes back in and they tripping. Probably because they was on the fentanyl weed. Just saying. Right, Care Bear. So Jag goes to is from the mental hospital. We see, we hear her on Tokyo Tony's channel a couple of times. And when she gets out, Goomba, who we thought was gonna just that was gonna be it with Jag, he picks her up. And then they go on the push campaign. See, today it was reported to me about things that was left out of what we saw. Because some people were like, oh, I can't believe Goomba was wrestling or beating up. That young man, her nephew. That's not her nephew. She just called him that. He was supposed to be a personal assistant or whatever. Okay. Reading charts and stuff like that. What the videos didn't show you was when I just say they were wrestling and tussling on the ground, we did not see Jaguar go back inside the barbershop and grab some scissors and threaten to cut people. That's why the police got called. Somebody was scared. And that's why there were so many policemen there to come get her. And why you always hear it say, oh, they put their knee on my back. Like I'm George Floyd. Well, if you got a goddamn pair of scissors in your hand, threatening to cut people, what do you think they gonna do? Yes, this is live. Understand? Mm -hmm. Nobody from the barbershop, it was reported to me, body slam. Jaguar. She got roughed up by the cops because her ass had some scissors in her hand. Wasn't it all willy-nilly and everything. Hey, D-Log, Messiah Birch. Yes, it was reported to me. Some things were filled in about that whole situation. Okay. People were like, oh, Goomba called the laws on his wife. No, somebody in there who was afraid for their life called the police. Okay? Oh, by the way, it was reported to me the reason why she only spent three days in the mental hospital the first time I think it was uh, Dallas Behavioral. Okay. Let's just say she got the hook up there. She knows someone. So she was only there three days. That's why she was able to freely use the phone that many times. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, that's why. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. Now, when Jag gets out, the next thing we know, we see her on Spider Lock TV cussing out her husband. And I'm just like, then she goes get out the mental hospital. Didn't they, didn't they go pick up her prescription? Then she says she's going to go get some therapy. 
even the host was like, hey, don't, Jag, don't speak to your husband like that. Call Goomba off guard and everything. Hell, call us all off guard. And the very next day, we see on social media, it gets reported on the regular news too, Jag Warwright goes off in the airport. from the airport. So I guess that hookup she had, the three days she had in the mental institution, really didn't help her that much. She just went back and did the same thing. Okay? After that, we saw she gave us some story about people following her. Goomba was trying to get to her. And what we find out later on that now she's being investigated by the, the uh, TSA. <laughs> she can't fly. So that's why she has to drive everywhere. Okay. So after that trip, she goes back on the picture King Payne, shot her way. Then all of a sudden, we see her and Goomba in Arizona. And coincidentally, guess what? Velvet and Solar get back together. And guess what? They're in Arizona too. Coincidence? I don't know. Now, remember, this is what also happened, I think, around February. It was their one-year anniversary. You know, they've been together four years. It's one-year anniversary. And all of a sudden, we get this thing that Jag's car it's set on fire. We see these pictures. And like, oh my God, the, the, the car uh got burnt up. And this is after we hear about Jag kissing some girl, some of oh, some dude that makes beats. They're working on a fire record. Goomba was sick because he was drinking it up, celebrating. But some people on the internet, shout out to hear her TV, King World, was looking at the car. And look, well, they were looking at the pictures that Jack sent Shonda Ray and a bunch of King Payne. And they were like, the pictures don't look right. Y'all said it was in, and then people were like, hey, that story don't seem, it's confusing. Jack tells us, Hey, Kumba, uh, we had a fight. He got in the car. He drove around. He realized, hey, he had been drinking. He needs to stop. He parks it at a strip center. Then he catches an Uber back to the hotel. The next day, his friend goes to check on the car, and it's not there. It's gone. Then at the center is where this fire happened. That's what Jack told us. But then Goomba came back the next day. was like, yeah, I was drunk. And we even did this. And then we went uh, to the hotel. We had an argument. And I went driving. And I parked the car. And then the next day, my friend couldn't find it. And then the next thing you know, uh, we're being told. Uh, he said something to the effect of, oh, the car got towed because the police found it crashed on the side of the road. And I'm like, huh, hey, this is some new information that Jack didn't tell us. Yeah, the 21-year-old. A 21-year-old or was a 23-year-old? By the way, it was reported to me that um, it was more than just a kiss. It was reported to me it was more than just a kiss. There was a reason why they were having an argument. Why you lie, Jack? Why you always lying? Oh my God. Why you fucking lying? 
Did y'all catch that? That is it. Do I need to repeat myself? It was reported to me that it was more than just a kiss. And because it was more than just a kiss, that's why they were arguing. And it was also reported to me that they both were involved in the car being crashed. Possibly undrivable. Hey, Queen Gemini. Hey, Big Sis Candace. And somebody, I don't know who, hey, Job for Nine, thought it'd be a great idea. Like, hey, we could, you know, get some money for the car if it was more damaged than this. And somebody thought, hey, let's allegedly set it on fire. Then we can report it to the insurance. And then somebody got OG from trees to take them down to the whatever. And then we noticed that three or four days, they're driving a new car back to Texas. Someone said it was a Chrysler Pacifica, but I think it ended up being a Ford Flex. Me and a lot of other content creators were looking at, you know, the, the burnt car, and it just looked weird. And we kind of said, like, hmm, no, we don't, we don't. This wasn't no just like fire or building. This was like somebody said it. But hey, there's an investigation, you know. Just saying. It was reported to me. So, Jag, you're talking about going back to Arizona to tell on Goomba. My man, you still married to him. You was with him. I'm sure they're going to take fingerprints in the car if it's somewhere, you know, stored. I mean, you might go to jail too. You trying to get her to go to jail. By the way, can you notice that every time she tries to get Goomba to go to jail, she goes to jail and said, it like it just boomerangs back on her. No, that was a new that was a new car job for now. The one that she drove back to Texas, that was a new car. It is 64 in the chat. I need to have 64 likes. If you like this uh information that you're hearing right now. A 33 likes? Come on now. I thought y'all liked me. Y'all really, really like me. I'm about to get out my uh my uh timer like everybody else or the other content creators until y'all hit. Okay, I'm gonna do the countdown. Hey, y'all, come on. All right. If you would like to be to support, let me see, let me see me, let me see a transcript, or let me see a transcript channel, or my dog boy, because you know, y'all like, he likes ice cream cones and pup cups from Starbucks. Okay. You can hit a sister's cash app, super chat, PayPal, Zelle. Okay. All right. But if you can't do that, please like, share, and subscribe. All right? So where was I? Okay, so they're driving back to Texas. They're still going on, uh, I think now, Night and Day, Real Life, Real Life uh, Productions, Shonda Way, uh, Official King Payne. Then all of a sudden, Shonda Way interviews this viral young lady 
who goes by the name of Legina Gold. And uh, she says that her parents are the late Aaliyah Halton and the imprisoned, uh, pro uh, pers prosecuted uh, Robert Sylvester Kelly. She is interviewed by Sean W. Way, uh, but prior to coming on the show, Legina says she wants to meet Jack. And a lot of us in our head was going like, no. Oh, that's great. Awesome. What kind of dog was it? So, uh, Jag is able to come up on the panel, speaks to Legina, and says, oh, I want to help you. Um, it says, oh, uh, until there's a test that proves otherwise, I am going to refer to you as Aaliyah's daughter. And the rest of us was like, oh, no. A4 built out. And then all of a sudden, she started asking Legina about, because we found out in the interview, Legina was in a mental hospital. Uh, that she was, was it paranoid schizophrenia, y'all? And Jack asked the lady, well, what kind of medicine do you take? Jack's taking lithium. Um, but it doesn't seem like she's taking a consistent basis. But when she was in Arizona, we saw one day, there was three bottles she was taking that she threw them over her shoulder, picked up a gun, and had it pointed towards Goomba. And we were like, and we also seen her drinking and smoking and CBD as well. Oh, that's so cute, little cocoa dog, choco dog. And all of a sudden, she's telling Legina, hey, you can have something, you know, besides lithium, weed works as well, too. We're all going like, oh. I don't know what the rest of y'all going like, oh, no. <laughs> The next thing we know, uh, Jaguar tells Sean David Way, Dr. Sean David Way, hey, give Legina my email address. Oh, no, I think her phone number. Find out later on that Legina had already emailed Jag, but Jag was not uh, on her, you know, Keeping up with, you know, messages in her email. And all of a sudden, there were me and other content creators coming across videos saying that, hey, Legina, we know for a fact, sis, that your parents are not Ali and R. Kelly. She, you're probably scaring or you're mentally ill. Jack is going to take advantage of you. She already mentally ill anyway. This is not a good idea. And we were right. So basically what ends up happening is, because Solar is no longer there to uh, be fangirling Jaguar, now Legina could be there and fangirling Jaguar. So we have another person who's now interfering or in the middle of Goomba and Jack's relationship. And we see, you know, on different programs. Um, we see them in videos. We see Goomba driving in different places. Um, then we start seeing the Goomba with the same face again. And then, um, I'm so forgot. How did Jack go to jail the second time? Right, that that's the thing. Um, they were putting out, you know, because Jack, well, Jag told them, remember, um, that oh, I sent some money to Legina because Legina said, oh, I'm um, something about oh, someone broke into my apartment, and she was offering to tell her, like, oh, come down here to do an interview, but it was like she came down to stay, okay. 
So they thought she she got sent a plane ticket. So Jack's cash was being put up saying, okay, we just help him reimburse Jack because she's helping Regina. And then lo and behold, we were told like, oh, she's taking the bus. And so we saw like three days later, we see Legina in the back seat of the, of the Ford Flex with Goomba and Le- Goomba and Jaguar. I mean, Spirit Airlines, Southwest Airlines, one ticket one way would have been uh, less than what that Greyhound three days from Detroit to Texas. Exactly. The Gina uh, cash out was posted. Messiah Bird. <laughs> <sighs> so while this is going on, we are seeing um Jag is like taking Legina under her wing, says she's gonna give her singing lessons. She has her around her mom and her son, and her son and Legina, they're gonna paint and they're really gonna be really good friends. It's all good. Uh, I have someone at the church that's going to give Regina lessons, right? (sighs) Then all of a sudden, we see Goomba exit stage left. And we're like, where did Goomba go? Yeah, we still ain't got no. Uh, well, just remember this. I forgot to tell you this. Part. Just a reminder this part. Um, <laughs> Jack was telling us, remember, oh, the governess brought Aaliyah to me and Prince to me. And I'm going to take Legina to her. And she, I guess, speak to her mother. And the governor was like, Jag, how dare you bring this foolishness to me? You know that girl is not. And then y'all saw the video I did. Um, she did. And on Jag, I said, you got three days to get that girl back to Detroit. And three days went by. <laughs> and Legina was still there. Then it was a week. And it was going on a week and a half. And then the next thing we know, as Goomba is actually in stage left, Jaguar is going into the hospital, dental hospital. Well, no, I'm sorry. I think I'm I think I'm mixing my stuff up. Y'all correct me. Goomba left before the mental hospital, right? No, she took the bus, Betty yell it. Okay, thank you, respective angle. He was tired. Plus, Jack kept talking about, oh, I need solar to come make this fire record. I want a carbon island. I want to get all the carbon nation kids together. Okay, so Goomba was like, oh, Legina's going to come down here. She's going to be on Dollar Delta. We're going to do this interview. We're going to take out the real life productions. But it turned into something more. Goomba wants to be with his wife. He doesn't want all this extra stuff. Okay. So he leaves. Okay. Jaguar, all of a sudden, that Goomba is not there. All of a sudden, it's like her son, Sam. And Legina are now there to help her reinforce that, hey, something's wrong with Goomba. 
He's not acting right. He's jealous. He's being unreasonable. He's being mean. Okay. He wants all of my time. He's angry. Can't live with him. Right? But then she started threatening him. She started threatening him. Saying what's she gonna do? Goomba left, said this is it. She's telling everybody, Goomba stole my money. Goomba stole my money. Goomba said he left. He did a resign. He emailed her all the username and password. She has access to the account. Now he left with his little check, whatever he had. But she made us think like, oh, he's he's wrong. He did this, he did this. Then all of a sudden we hear um Jag, because she ain't got no money. Now she's on Sean every way and 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 uh, who should keep paying her cash up is up, people feeling sorry for her. Cause Goomba stole her money. Now y'all have heard that Jag is over her mom's check, right? We've all heard that, right? Well, it's reported to me it's true. She is over her mom's check. Her mom gets a nice, you know, pension check a month. She pays her, she well, she's supposed to pay her mom's rent. And then Jack's mom is like, okay, thank you for paying my rent. Leave me alone. Go on, go on away. And we keep hearing that Jack's mom is mentally ill. We keep hearing all these other things. But remember, we're hearing them from Jack. We're not hearing them from nobody else. We didn't see her mom until the lunch, the welcome back lunch. But yeah, she's supposed to be a million dollar trust fund. Why are you always lying? Why are you always lying? So, Jag goes to uh, the Jamaican spot, offer herself up, then goes to the police station because she said, I'm filing charges on Goomba. <laughs> when she get there, it's a different plan. She started going off about um, Officer Ramirez. Doesn't even take the food to her her family that she said that she was uh needing to feed because her husband took all her money and left her with nothing. But when you get cash in for being on all these different shows, man, when you're on night and day real life production, shine every way, and I wish you keep paying because. Which keep paying, they root and and, and trying to wait. They always had your cash up. up. They were very, 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 they are very good to you. But I can't tell you figure out what the fuck is all this money going. And then all of a sudden, Jag goes in the jail. She stays there for a night and she gets out. Legina posts the bail, probably Jenna's help. Jag gets out. She's still on talking about Goomba. He's horrible. He has control of the business account. He has control of the passwords. He has this and that. And she's still harping on. He's horrible. Then she's talking about, oh, I'm going to move into this house. It's going to be awesome. And Goomba, this house ain't for you. Maybe I'll take you back. We need to do these four things. Goomba keeps telling everybody, I don't want to be with you no more, Jack. I'm tired. I'm, I'm tired. I sent you the stuff. And then we found out that Goomba went back to his former girlfriend, Barbara slash Nikki slash Dominique. And that just sends Jaguar up the roof. Because now it's like, how dare he 
cheat on me. Go back to her. I was the best thing ever. She is a da 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 It says some really horrible things with that poor lady that we heard. It was just hard. Also, we found out Goomba is, is a pillow talker and he needs to shut up. <laughs> okay? Because he told stuff to her, a Jaguar, about Nikki, and he told Nikki stuff about Jaguar. And they ended up having the thing on the Fisher Key paint. Uh, yes. Yeah. Wait, she said go to Pops. <laughs> yeah, and then we saw one night um her and the kids like, oh, we got this really good house. It's gonna be this house ain't for you. And we see them at Bucky's. By the way, Bucky's is like one of the best uh uh uh, uh gas station convenience stores in Texas. It's like a version of Walmart. You can buy clothes there. You can get food, hot food there. The really clean restroom. The same. So, so all of a sudden we see uh, Sam, and we see Legina in the car going to a house, but we don't see them like stay there. They're still in the car. Well, Goomba tells us because hey, y'all squatting. So I guess when they have houses. They have like a lock box where you can put the keys in like after you view it. And I guess Jag was trying to squat there. Okay. And the reason why is because there is an eviction on the apartment that had Goomba and Jaguar's mom on the lease. Okay. Now, it was reported to me. Are you ready for this? Yes, yeah, she's been a Karen. It was reported to me that Jaguar's mom was actually able to get another apartment nearby. And that that apartment that has all the rent on it, that Jag and Goomba were staying there. So Jag's mom's apartment is paid up. The one she's physically living in and Sam is with her. That's what reported to me. But the $3,300, because it's not getting, you know, back several months rent, um, that has to do with a number of different factors of why that is happening. As someone already alluded to it, where is it? Uh, where did someone put it at? Oh. Dang it. Where is it? Someone put it in the chat. Thank you. $3,300 back rent. And you're over your mom's check. And her rent is only so much, it means you have the rest, right? Well, where did it go? What did y'all think it go, y'all? What do you think happened to it? Okay. How many times have we seen um Jag Goomba Legina or a variation of that? Uh going to driving somewhere, going to a restaurant. Okay. How many times we've seen Jag smoking cigarettes? Or according to her, smoking CBD oil? Or do we remember that time we saw her in the sauna and it looked like she had a goddamn 
bong or a crack pipe. And she was looking out like this. I was like, what the hell is going on over there? Mm-hmm. Now, it was alluded to That was the reason why Jack and Google was in Arizona. Because they owed some people some money. Yes. Well, more specifically, Jaguar owes some people some money. She likes allegedly reported to me to go to a certain place in South Dallas to get something, an extra uh, curricular uh, drug. Now, as we know, she's supposed to be uh, PTSD, the little bipolar. They have, they have, you know, drugs for that. You're not supposed to mix those with actual recreational drugs, not even alcohol. I haven't found out about that yet. Because remember, Jack was on that phone call that she knew her son was on uh, the phone with his dad. And she's going to say, oh, I bought uh, Sam a $22,000 car. Have y'all said, why are you always lying? You know you're not telling the truth. We ain't never seen Sam Jr. drive no damn car. And then you said he was supposed to do an internship. Well, according to today, out of your own mouth, okay, you don't fill out with real life productions. Isn't that who Sam Jr. was supposed to do his internship with? So you don't fuck that up for him? I didn't get, that's another thing. I don't know. Uh, I didn't, I wasn't, nothing was reported to me about the dog. So if anybody else, anybody else on the transcript committee out there listening, or you would like to be a part of the transcript committee, please hit my email. Right? We can get down to, uh, I'm really praying that the dog is somewhere in Lubbock on a ranch or on some land somewhere. Because that's, to me, I feel like that's where the dog needs to be. Why are you always lying? You know there was no cartel left there at your doorstep. And then you said the Jimenez cartel. Who in here has watched Power? I didn't even watch Power. Someone had to tell me. They're like, let me see the transcript. The, the Jimenez cartel is, a, is, is the characters on the TV show Power. Talking about Bobby from the barbershop is in with the with the Jimenez cartel, bringing fentanyl into the neighborhood and selling drugs to people. They sold it to a husband. That's why he act crazy like that. Well, guess what, Jaguar, Jacqueline Suzette Wright Johnson. It was reported to me the only person who was taking fucking fentanyl weed or any other type of extra drug was you. Nobody at that barbershop was selling you shit. Nothing. To nobody. You mad because that's what you got arrested at. You know Goomba likes to hang out over there. He still got friends. You're not even allowed to come back over there. 
And because you can't go back over there, guess what you're doing? You acting like a Karen, calling the police, calling the mayor's office to get that place, that black business shut down. And look what happened the first time you, you went down there to the police station, you got yourself arrested. We saw it all. We were like, what the hell is she doing? She must be crazy. She must be all. She must be high. She probably was. Okay. Then, <laughs> right. Ramirez, <laughs> the allegations. <laughs> Then you went to, um, they took, when they arrested you that, that time you went down there and got arrested for disorderly conduct, they took your brass knuckles and your gun and so, and your phone, your second phone. And so you were under the impression that you could go back there and pick it up. I thought you said you had 168 IQ. Why are you always lying? <laughs> Why are you always lying? He thinks Goomba on a lot of dog. I think maybe Jag did. Or like with the car situation, maybe it was both of them. But I think there was two different dogs, right? Or was it just one? But Guma said that the dog is on some land somewhere. Okay, real TV. I'm going to say this so you understand. It was reported to me. Legends Barbershop is not selling any illegal drugs or extracurricular drugs. I was told that the South Side of Dallas, now MLK, at a certain place, is where you put, where you can get it. The Soto is fifty miles south uh, of Dallas. Now, as you notice in these videos, where is Jag most of the time? In the soda. Thank you, Q Nundrum. No, I'm just, I'm not being with anybody. I'm just reports. I'm just letting the masses know what was reported to me. We've been lied to and bamboozled. But some of us already thought that, but it's a lot worse than what we thought. But you know, hey, these are all alleged and opinions. It's for it's type of purposes only. Hey, you know, coming opinion, Messiah Birch. Whew, thank you. A conundrum was also a member of the channel. Good to see you in the chat. Thank you for the super. Super chat. I really appreciate that. Now, where was I? Does everyone understand that? It was reported to me they are not selling drugs out of that barbershop. So Jaguar is out here in these streets. And we see her, we hear her. We don't see her. We hear her get arrested at the man's office for trying to report that Bobby down at the Legends Barbershop is selling fentanyl weed and that's why the kids was uh fighting at the uh, uh apartment complex that's why her husband is acting the way he is and she just trying to be a concerned citizen no ma'am and then like um and I put this in the uh, chat. 
right in the chat and put it in the description. No, we do want to call it like it is. She is a mental patient. She's been arrested four times and then put in a mental hospital twice. And she ne- when she gets out, she's worse. Oh, thank you. I'm coming to that. I- I'm coming to that. Yeah, the Soto's a suburb. Uh, the Soto, Cedar Hill, it's a suburb. So... Oh, I need to go back to something about the uh about the about the apartment. So, as y'all know, today is the thirtieth. Tomorrow's thirty first. Saturday is the first. You know, we've been seeing a lot of Jag, even on her own channel, right? She's been getting us a lot of content. There was even a twenty dollar Cash App Jag to ask her a question. Uh, the same night that Goomba was getting cash out for his question. Well, guess what? Uh, she supposed to be out that apartment where she got her Ford Flex uh, towed. Because guess what? It still has Arizona tags on it and not the other car that she had. She goes into the lease office and cuts them people out. And then the tow people, they're like, hey, come down here. Your car is down here. She, for some reason, didn't have the money to get the car out. And so Legina had to get the money to get the car out. But you're supposed to have $45 million in a trust fund somewhere. No, for for Bill, she's not pregnant. She's just, just gotten a little bit. Yeah, Arizona paper tags. But lo and behold, you know, like I said, she was getting uh, the cash apps after she got the car. So we think, okay, maybe she's going to get that back to Regina, Regina. And lo and behold, we see Jay pull up with some new braids. And her nails done. We're like, oh, okay. Is this with Johnny Popcorn, who she said, you know, her new man? I think he imaginary. Why you gotta be lying? Did she come out when she was in there and say she's pregnant? She was never pregnant. Right, right, right. In the white Porsche. Now, according to God Fear TV. The person that he thinks is who who drives the white Porsche is another content creator. I'm just going to say this. It was reported at just Godfrey TV did a video and he heard something about the white Porsche. And then there's another time Jack was like, yeah, I'm going on a date with this guy. He drives a white Porsche, right? So he was implying that maybe it was just say no to skull. And I was like, hmm, I don't know about that. Because I wasn't putting one and one and two and two together. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Real TV. That's true. Wait, Real TV. You a, you a Jaguar stand fan? I mean, drugs is everywhere. But it was reported to me the places like she liked to go get her drugs at is South Dallas. Near MLK. But she owed them some money, so she can't go over there. So she probably found another place. But no one out of Legends Barbershop is selling anything. She's not being a concerned citizen. She's being mean and revenge and being vindictive. And I think the other day she said, oh, you live there? So you're trying to say Legends from the Barbershop is selling weed? 
are selling uh, extra recreational drugs. You know this for a fact. Oh, yeah, she said the other night that, oh, Johnny Popcorn is actually three people, two guys and a girl. Now, I don't know if I want to go with Godfrey TV's uh, hypothesis on who uh, Johnny Popcorn is. But it was reported to me that Jag, as you know, she's she's bisexual. And I already said that she had more than just a kiss with the 23-year-old in Arizona. Well, it's also been reported to me that Real TV, don't say that. You know for a fact that Legends Barbershop is selling illegal drugs. You know what? Just because you live here, like, hey, I know that there are people who sell drugs in Houston, Texas, but guess what? I ain't never physically see them sell drugs. So unless you got a receipt that you can send me that says it's proof that Legends Barbershop is selling anything. But haircuts. Because the person on my transcript committee lives there too. And I know them. I don't know you. So you got to make me believe you. Okay. Oh, then you remember that time? Yes, she said that's why she went off of the barbershop because she was smoking that fentanyl weed. She told on herself. She told on herself. But she keeps telling us Goomba is the one on drugs. Every time I say Goomba, the only time he gets upset is when she provokes him. It's called reactive abuse. When a person that keeps pushing your buttons and pushing your buttons, then all of a sudden you just go go off and fly off the handle. And so now you look like you're the one with the problem because she intentionally triggers them. Thank you. It's across the street from the mayor's office. Okay. Now, it was shown on. Um, oh, I was gonna say, go back to the apartment. Uh, like I said, um, it was reported to me. Uh, Jack's mom is in another apartment complex nearby. Sam Jr. is with her. That's why you're seeing Legina with Jag over at Genesis house. Okay. Uh, Jag has to be out of the apartment. That's the one with the eviction that her and Goomba was staying in. Okay. Uh, in a few days. That's why Goomba's like, oh, the lights are going to go off or this is going to go off. Because when he left, he left everything. Yeah, and so some people thought like, hey, Jag got out of jail this last time and she got arrested at the mayor's office. She must have snitched on uh, Le Bobby with letting to the barbershop because she's out. Well, the official King Payne at the 55-minute, 24-minute mark, he shows a video that a subscriber, oh, sorry, uh, that a uh, Jaguar supporter sent him video of uh, it looks like it looks like a SWAT team or a swarm of policemen outside Legends Barbershop. But I kept looking at it like, hmm. 
So he said, Jag got out at 12.30 yesterday. And that, the, what I think the video was like around 2.30 or something like that. Right? So I'm going to try to show, I'm going to show y'all something. Let me see if I can show y'all this. Because today, I, you know me, I'm a, I'm, I'm a nosy history teacher. I get nose. I be thinking like, mm, that that don't. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Okay. All right. So let me show y'all what I was. I was. I was. I was able to look at this afternoon, cause. Um, and then, you know, I was getting also getting reports and stuff from the transcript committee. So I was looking at this and I was like, huh. All right. Let me take this down. Let me see if I can make this bigger. Now. Do y'all see what time Legends Barbershop actually opens? Yeah, she really was. A lot of people did. Um, I think who there's a lot of people did uh, that I went to. That You're right, because you have to confirm with her because, you know, she's always lying. Almost always lying. Yeah, because her mom is in the other apartment. That's why you also haven't seen Sam Jr., you know? Everyone comes saying, what's Sam with? What's that? He's with my, he's with grandma at the other apartment. But the Gina is with Jag. Right, right. Okay. So, like Shanna Lewis said, um, oh, it's that the, there was a swarm and the SWAT was out there because uh, ladies at the barbershop, they were selling their fitting on weed. And that was about 2.30 p.m., right? Yesterday. Well, the barbershop don't open till 5. No one's there until five now it was reported to me uh five to six, five p.m to six p.m hold on you see right now earlier today it said five p.m thursday do y'all see it now? So they're not going to open again until 5 p.m. They're closed on Sundays. Every day, they open at 5 p.m. So at 2.30, when y'all saw the swarm or the, the police, that was not for Legends Barbershop. It was reported to me that that was a domestic violence incident and someone called the police. Legends Barbershop is in the same place as the Big Lot uh, uh, shopping center. So a man and woman in a car were having a domestic violence incident. Someone called the police. And if you look at the video, which I'm going to show you right now, I'm sorry, y'all. Click my own self out. I want to show y'all something. Okay. That I kept looking at over and over and over again. And I was like, this is really a. Uh,
Um, I was, you know me, I'm nosy. And I kept looking at the video out of her, rewinding and rewinding. I said, why are they so far away? If this is the barbershop, wouldn't they be a lot closer than this? I mean, is this like the incident in Arizona? You just showing me the stuff that's after it's over? Like, what's going on? So, let's go here. Before we get started. This video is protected by Section 107 of the U.S. Copyright Act of 1976, allowing us to make free person's criticism, commentary, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is used to permitted by a copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing, nonprofit, educational, personal use, tips, and violence in favor of fair use. This video is made for entertainment purposes and is transformative in nature. Like, share, subscribe to the, the official thing. Okay, I'm going to mute myself. And I want you to hear and look what I see. Okay? Put myself down here. In DeSoto, almost a decade. to see okay okay I wanna, uh, i'm not going to be able to do block all that out but okay all right all right I muted him. I don't know what's going on. It's Let's try this. Okay. okay. 
All right, so here is the uh, receipt that the Fisher King Pain uses. It says, hey, my name is Shazaria Hampton. I lived in DeSoto almost a decade. I live in Red Oak now. That's like 11 minutes from DeSoto. While in DeSoto today, I had a video and pictures of Proof Legends Barbershop being swarmed when someone dropped off something. What she say about Legends is true. It's just nobody has confronted this ever especially to this extent i watched your show and jag you actually shouted me out two days ago on your pm live just wanted to let you know if you needed those receipts i would kindly hand them freely okay my subscriber sent me this today remember um they called in um not too long ago and was telling us that they lived near the barbershop okay and that what jaguar right is saying is true okay she says hi my name is cesaria i live in desoto almost a decade i live in red oak now that's like 11 minutes from desoto while in desoto today i have a video and pictures of proof legends barbershop being swarmed when someone dropped off something my 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 Legend Barbershop being swarmed when somebody dropped off something. I wonder what they dropped off. Was it drugs? Oh, what she says about legends is true. It's just nobody has confronted this ever, especially to this extent. I watch your show and Jag, you actually shouted me out two days ago on your PM live. Just wanted to let you know if you needed those receipts, I will kindly hand them freely okay on period so um you know i did um uh, shout her out the other day on the show um letting jack know that you know someone called in and they said that you know you're you know you're telling the truth they live near there you guys remember okay so she sent the picture initially and then she responded that you know she has the video too i said yes please send them okay um she said, I got this video and this picture. I couldn't get any closer. This was around 2.30 p.m. today. Okay. So here is the picture of Legends Barbershop being swarmed by police. See all those. So I want you to look at this. Okay. Um, uh, real TV, I asked you earlier to email me if you have proof that legends was actually selling something and i'm still waiting all right i like i need the receipts i need proof i'm a history teacher i want to see the facts and yeah all right so all right so and plus remember jag said oh i went by there and they were doing something well uh, the people on the transcript committee went by there too, and they didn't see that. So, yeah. So I was looking at like, hey, they said it was swatting and storm swarming, right? So I'm looking at, okay, I see one, two, three. So I think this is a four door car, and those two look like SUVs. But then I thought like, hey, doesn't SWAT have bigger cars? And don't they have like, usually show up like with like seven or eight? Right? So this was like the, the maybe the ones who are still there after the whole incident happened. And then the Shahara whatever girl says, oh, I couldn't get any closer. And I was like, I see other parked cars, you know, over there. Um, why couldn't they park closer, right? So I was like, I'm like, wait, who sent this to who really I can't think of who really someone, you know, trust me say, who really sent this to Fusha Key Payne? And why is this so far away? Like there was no nothing in the, no no places in that parking lot. 
Right. And this is the thing. I have been looking on Google, on the Dallas News, on the Solo News. I can't find nothing about legends being police raided. Houston had um, two two migrants got taken hostage. There was uh, FBI, HPD, I think even the Texas Rangers, DPS, they all got into a parking lot near Walmart, like two, whatever, how many blocks away from the hotel where the two people they're going to get. They were all over the parking lot. They took up all of the space in the parking lot. So I kept thinking like, hey, if they were all over the space of this parking lot and then guess what? It was on the news. Why is it, why don't I see more people, more cars over here unless this is after everything went, everything was over. And then it was reported to me, okay, let's use our inference, thinking skills, context clues we learned in school. Who would be in a car that far away from Legends Barbershop? I don't know. Maybe the person who has been calling the police and went by the mayor's office to talk to them about drugs being uh, sold there. Because guess what? It was reported to me by a member of the transcript committee that possibly that it was Jaguar or Legina or someone who is staying with or with Jaguar and Legina or some light skin, big lip. Um, light skin, big lip, uh, son dude, uh, they are not allowed to come within a thousand feet of Legends Barbershop. So does that look like about a thousand feet to y'all? Or am I reaching? Y'all be honest with me. Am I reaching? I mean, am I reaching? Y'all, y'all be honest with me. Am I reaching? Because I kept looking at this picture. I kept rewinding it. I said, "Swat, Swan, did she get there late? The one they had in Houston, they were all over that parking lot. I said, hmm. It was reported to me that Mr. Bobby has some paperwork that says uh, Jacqueline Suzanne Wright Johnson can't come between a thousand feet of his barbershop. And that includes anyone that lives with her. But guess who's still welcome there? Goomba. Where did Jaguar get arrested at? The barbershop. Who likes to hang out at the barbershop? Goomba. Why did she go to, why did she call the police and uh, say they're selling weed? Why did she go by the mayor's house, mayor's office and say they're selling weed? Y'all, why did she do that? Because she wants to get back at, say it with me, everybody, Goomba. Nobody at the barbershop body slammed her. Narcissists like to keep you away from your friends and family. Goomba has left. And right now he's trying to reconnect with friends and family. And one of the places where he went was Legends 
barbershop. When he left away from her the first time, where did he go? Legends Barbershop. Where did Jack show up to with Solar? Legends Barbershop. Who does Jack talk about much as Goomba on a daily basis in several different videos on several different platforms? Legends Barbershop. You know that Legends Barbershop actually has reviews about some of the things that Jaguar has said about them. And I read some of them and I was just really heartbroken. I was like, wow, somebody believes what Jack says and came on here and made this bad review. I can't believe it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, Sharari Z, Sharari Z. Ma'am, were you there when it got dropped off or did someone tell you? Because guess what, y'all? This was at 2.30 p.m., right? What time does the barbershop open? Five. Just. I mean, if I'm wrong, just 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 show me some proof. Okay, which which way is Big Lots? Like to the left, or to the right. I wonder can I see this on Google Map, Google Earth? Let me see that. Mm -hmm. Google Earth. It's the address. The Google Earth is. Okay. Wait, what is the thing for Google Earth? Okay, Google Earth for the find for the finest place for me. Damn, they okay. Okay, shit. Look at this. Oh, y'all got to see this. Okay. Google Earth, like, just pulled up some stuff. Where is the stuff at? Damn it. Oh. Damn it. Okay. Let me show y'all this Google Earth. I don't put the address to the, uh, y'all see? I'm gonna put it on the whole, the whole thing. All right, so it's Google Earth. I put in the address to um. What can I? I can zoom, huh? Wait, is this the big lots here? What is that? Okay, y'all. Where's the big lights? Wait, it's supposed to be right here. No. Is that the old address? Am I not looking in the right place, y'all? Y'all, where is the big lights? Is it right here? Pixie does 1958. I think that's incorrect on the Google. You know they're not only open for an hour now. Come on now. Okay. Let me turn Oh, I see it now, y'all. Okay, so this is the big lot. Okay, so this looks like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
What does that say? Okay. Okay. Now, I'm looking at this now, y'all. Okay, so this is Mary Louise School of Dance, and this is Big Lots, right? Does that look like what the lady Legends is over here or over here? Y'all tell me, I'm on the right or the left? Y'all see my, um, I don't know if y'all see my um, cursor or not. The slanted cars where Mary Louise School of Dance is. These slanted cars, okay, this, okay, y'all. Okay, I gotta look it up. Okay, y'all got a lock. Y'all got a um, cricket. Y'all got um, big lots. It's a church there too. A church. I'm going too far. Okay. There's a DQ. Wait. Let's see. What is there a way to um Ah, go back. Oh. Mm. Go back to the He uh, said, go back to the car. Okay. okay, so there's a church right there. Ooh, some nice home over here. So the community center. I think I'm. I don't think I think I'm confusing myself. Okay, let me stop. I think I, my my little ADHD is kicking in, and I, I'm not getting where where I need to go. But I'm just trying to look like. Okay, now it's not moving. Okay, that may be a sign from the Lord. Oh, wait a minute. What the hell? What was that? Oh, select to, to enter a street view. What? Okay. Okay. Okay, ain't nothing right there. Is this Legends? Is it Jamaica restaurant? I don't know. That's a good question. Am I in the right place, Shanna? Is this Legends or no? No, I think that no smoothie king. So I'm assuming Legends is right here at the end of the block with the uh, Mary Louise dance.
No, Legends is where the slanted cars are. Okay, I'm looking at slanted cars now. I'm looking at Mary Louise Dance. The cars look slanted to me. <laughs> oh, it's in the strip area. Okay, okay, that's what I, okay. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, let's stop sharing. Let's go back to the other video. Dang, I should have clicked the blue line, yeah. Okay, so let's present. So I'm looking right here. Let's look back at this. So if this is big lots and that is Mary's center on the right and then further down is Legends, do they look like they're actually in front of the Legends barbershop? Or am I reaching y'all? Y'all let me know. Oh shit. Oh y'all, guess what I just found? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Cynthia. Is it Cynthia? Thank you so much, Cynthia. I did what you did. I did what you told me to do. <laughs> I did what you told me to do. You said click the blue line. You'll see it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I clicked the blue line. <laughs> so like so this is this is where legends is. <laughs> I'm so excited. The nerd in me is so excited. <sighs> oh. Y'all can see me. Okay, so this is the bar this is the barbershop. So <sighs> but there's three, four cars in the middle. At 2 30, but they don't open till five. Thank you, uh Cynthia Lee, Dr. Cynthia Lee. I appreciate it. The only people rich are the ones pushing me on that was right. It mm -hmm. so do you think this was Jag or Regina who sent? Official key paint that pick or a fan. Because mm. I'm trying to figure out how come they wasn't this close. Because there was parking on the other on the, on the left side, and they could have got closer pictures. And they're like, oh, I couldn't get that close. And I'm just like, that looks like a thousand feet away. And Bobby from the barbershop. Uh, got a reported to me a restraining order against you, so you can't even go there within a thousand feet. So you trying to inflict as much damage by um, calling the popos on them, huh? I would say Angela. She used the last name Hampton. That's the street legend is on. Ooh. Oh, you mean when, oh, back in uh, January. Mm. That's a good point, Cynthia, Dr. Cynthia. You say no, Pixie does? I mean, if the police were right, if the three police cars were right here in the middle, there was still parking over here. Why are you so far away? Hmm. Interesting. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
she could have parked here there was space here she could have parked there and took pictures but they were over what on the other side of that tree that's a thousand feet right could have parked at the end they hmm hmm Is that Bobby in front of the barbershop? Huh. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking too, overthinking. But I'm just, hmm. Just, hmm. Hey, Ebony Woods. <laughs> this is a sad side. I don't have no cars to be drug dealers. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> that is hilarious. Jay, why are you always lying? Why are you always lying? Jay, Jay, Jay. <sighs> why the fuck you lying? Why are you always lying? Stop fucking lying. Why are you always lying to me? Every time you tell me something that you lying. Why lie, Jack? Why? Ain't enough being yourself? Y'all just, just. <sighs> yeah, and um, I want to say this. It was reported to me that um we were talking about you know because she's bisexual and she likes to kiss girls or more than kiss girls um does she got quite a number of other girls that she's kissing or more in that town so and also it was reported to me that she likes to throw her like remember when she went to the jamaica restaurant and tried to give the man her uh punani and in, in exchange for a jamaican platter to feed her family that never got the platter because she got arrested well it seems that she was doing that with other people too several times and they were feeding here I was thinking like you just loved your husband and you were saying all about the vows and Goomba is so wrong. He over there got the herpes and he has all this stuff that he's doing. And I'm just like, I'm hearing this stuff like, what? And I do believe Goomba in one of his videos, the, the audio phone call where they were talking to each other, he called out a name, said, oh, you were with somebody. 
And she's like, I was never with him. He's an Arab. I'm like, what does that matter? Right. Piece of dust. He said, no, 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 go right and do it in a minute. What time they open? <laughs> but this is the thing. And now that I'm thinking about this whole y'all were having sex out there in the on the mountain in the woods, I'm just like, whose idea was that? I'm like, Jack, was that your idea? Was a possible sex tape your idea? Respective angle. There is a video that I did on my, I think, did I do it on my Let Me See a Transcript Reacts? Right? Where basically she went to the uh, Jamaican place. This is when she said, oh, Goomba stole all her money and she needed to feed her family. She only had five dollars. And she was like, sorry, what can what kind of arrangement can we make? Right. <sighs> You are here talking about, oh, I you painted this picture of Goomba and made him relatable to all these people. And you're telling us he's really this bad person. You got a video called Surviving Goomba. We need a video called Surviving. And at first when Denot did that whole Surviving Jaguar, I was like, oh, okay. He over there just being, he trolling her back because she trolling him. It's being petty. But now I'm like, you know what? He might have the right idea. Please don't hurt official King Payne. Please don't hurt Sean Day Way. Because I'm I'm just I got a feeling you're gonna treat them like you treated Nosy Ho and Storm Monroe. I think they're very nice to you. They've tried to help you, and you're just taking advantage. And right now, you already fell out with real life productions. Because guess what? They uh, let allow your husband, your estranged husband, to do a video. And guess what? The video had nothing to do with you. He was talking about the military. But you mad. And by the way, he's been on night and day. What if he goes back on there? You're going to fall out with them too? You're going to fall out with everybody who doesn't do things that, that, that you want them to do? Jaguar, I don't think you want friends or family. I think you want fans. You want supporters. You want people who will just do what you want them to do. You want to be nature boy. I really do believe it now. That's why Goomba left. He don't want to do no carbon island stuff. He wants to be your husband. He wants to be with you. But you want everything else. And then you're mad because he left. But then the, the other night you're like, oh, I'm going to go ahead and do me. I, I try to give you $20 to not to talk about him for 20 minutes. And you couldn't do it. The way you own these YouTube channels, you telling us you Jaguar fucking right. You can do this and you can do that. And you couldn't stop talking about a man that does not want you for 20 minutes? Girl, you out here looking thirsty. Is it, is it the drugs? Is it the fentanyl weed? Is it the cracky one? Is it the crack? Is it the fentanyl weed? Jag, love you to love the Lord. You need to go lay down. You not only need mental health, you need a, a, a rehab, a detox. You're taking 
recreational drugs to deal with your mental illness. And also, you're not going to therapy. And whoever is in that mental hospital that you've been to a couple of times, the less you skate by, they're not helping you. And I don't know if you know this, but Tokyo Tony has been asking some really good questions like, Jad, what? And I think she's starting to distance from you too. She already got her own problems. Mm-mm. You got her in enough trouble anyway. Telling other folks, me and Tokyo Tony gonna come up here and roll up on people. She ain't know nothing about that. You have used up people's kindness to you. You like when uh, your behavior is enabled, and I think you take advantage of people. I think you take up. A- Take advantage of Shonda Way, official King Payne. I think you take advantage of Genesis. And I do see you taking advantage of Regina, even though I think she got problems. And your husband tried to work it out, but all he wanted was you. That's what I don't understand. He wanted just you, but you want to bring everybody else in. And want him to have to share you with other folks. That's not what a marriage is. You ain't married to other people? Or is that what you want? And I'm going to say this again, Jay. You are gifted. Why are we not seeing you sing on your goddamn channel, on Instagram, on YouTube? You keep saying, oh, I'm going to go record for Dow Duffy TV. Wait, what a new episode is it? Google told us about the sound. He got all the ingredients. He was supposed to be in charge of shipping, and you were supposed to make everything. Did it happen? No. Sooner or later... But Gina probably gonna want to leave. Sooner or later, Solo might get tired of you. Genesis already kind of like told you to leave her house already. And I think your cousin and your niece said you've been like this since childhood. Every time you try to put Goomba in jail. Every time you call the police, the VA, the mayor's office, every time you went to the police and the mayor's office, you went to jail. You got put in the hospital. And you're still trying to do it. You upset that he's talking about you? You know why he's talking about you? Because you talk about him. And he's defending himself. Now, I've already said He needs to go cold, no contact with you whatsoever. And also, he may need to block all of your friends because you was wrong, okay? And I bet you sweet talk, official King Payne, to have him call Goomba. And then Goomba took out his anger, which should have been directed at you. He took it out on official King Payne. He didn't deserve that. Your husband blocked you for a reason. He's tired of your shit. You 45. Me and you the same age. Come on, sis. You can have a second act. But you can't do that trying to be uh, some nature boy, female version of nature boy. You want to help collect all these little carbonation people? Maybe that's not your ministry. You were blessed to sing. The Bible says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. I'm just saying. How much more 
are they going to want to deal with you and what you say on their platform? You already had one of official King Payne's videos uh, got on private, had to be edited because you doxed Sherelle's Shire world. Then you said on another program that uh, Nikki basically was sleeping with her dad. She was molested. How awful of you to say that. But you said it because you was hurt. If you go to therapy, and I really hope you do, you need to ask them, hey, how can I have better conflict resolution skills? How can I have uh, express how I feel about something without hurting somebody else's feelings? Because basically you re-traumatized that lady when you said that. And then Donat, then you did the same thing to Donat calling him an AIDS patient when your ass is a recently released mental patient. You shamed him. He doesn't even have AIDS or HIV. You went off on someone else's video. But you mad because your husband is over there and he has a place, hey, free from you to express himself. And then you know what he did? Even though I disagree with it, the not hit you in the juggler. He said you sold your son to be famous and he died. Then he mentioned your, your other son you still have now and it hurt you. Because he was like, my son? And I, and, I, and I was like, oh, okay, he hit her. He hit her. He hit her right here. And that's what you've been doing on these YouTube streets for two months. You only want to be celebrated if you curse someone out or you attempt to read someone or you do something outrageous for entertainment. You like people come up on the panel like the Akashic or whatever girl telling you, oh, I like you. You great, Jay. Oh, I would love to meet you one day. You want a fan. You want a follower. And you want to be in control. And when you no longer have control, you act like a stalker. Have you ever thought, hey, if I stop acting like a stalker, I stop calling the police, I stop using other people to contact my husband, if I stop doing some shit that keeps getting me arrested or keeps getting me thrown into a mental hospital that keeps me moving from place to place that keeps me in different fucking vehicles that maybe 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 you can have peace and be happy but guess what jay sometimes having peace and being happy means it's also boring just saying Having peace, being happy, sometimes means being boring. That means not having outbursts at the airport. That's not name dropping celebrities. It's not saying, oh, the reason why I'm not successful is because Rock Nation. No. You need to look in the mirror. And I think that's what you don't want to do. It's everybody else's fault for yours. You're 45 years old. We're not children anymore. It's not everybody's fault. And then when you got mad with some people, you said horrible things about them children. But you don't want nobody to talk about yours. That ain't fair, Jag. And by the way, this is what uh, a wise man once told me. Me, when someone states a fact or observation about you, like, hey, I think you should stop doing this, or I think this would be better, that's not a value judgment. If I say, Jack, I really think you need to stay on social media, um, go to therapy and take your medicine and work on yourself. 
that's an observation. But what I think you hear, oh, I'm not good enough. They think something's wrong with me, that I'm crazy. And then you start cussing some folks out. That's not, no. It's an observation. It's not a value judgment. Never once have I said, Jag, you're a bad person. I never once said that. That's a difference. And I'm wondering if that's what you hear when someone says, Jag, I want you to be a better person. I want you to work on yourself. I want to see you sing again. I want to uh, be able to stream your song. I want to be able to buy tickets to your show. Okay? You understand? Because I see a person that has a gift and they're wasting it and they're wasting it with lies, with stalking, and they keep doing the same behavior. It's since this January, you have been in a spiral. You have been in a circle. You have hopped on panel to panel. You have cursed folks out. Okay. You have threatened people and their children. Okay. You're stalking your husband on social media and in uh, the Soto. Okay. You have problems with the law. You've been arrested four times in two months. Maybe that's a sign from the Lord that you need to sit your ass down. Because that the next time you get sit down, it might be permanent. And that's what I really don't want to see. I do not want to come on this internet and they tell me Jaguar Wright dead because she resisted arrest by the police. Jaguar Wright dead because she was stalking somebody, went to wear her car, they felt threatened and shot you. I would like to see, come on this internet and see, oh, Jaguar Wright puts on a live concert. Why can't we have that? I'm tired of Jaguar Wright. I want to get to know Jacqueline Suzanne Wright, Johnson. Because Jaguar Wright is getting on my nerves. Shit. You are getting, I know you have to be getting on your own nerves. Get it on your own nerves. And the thing is, Pixie does, she still could have a chance. But you got to stop getting out of your own damn way. You are self-sabotaging yourself. Self-sabotaging. You call down there one more time on Goomba, on Legends Barbershop, guaranteed within a week, you're going to get arrested again. You're going to get arrested again. It's boomeranging back on you. Do unto others you do them to do unto you. It's karma. And someone told me she she um was actually born in New Jersey. If you ever listen to her, she has different accents. She has New Jersey, New York. She goes to Philly, and then she comes back and has a southern accent. What? Why are you lying? Why you always fucking lying? Damn, Jay. Really? And you keep talking about, oh, I'm not getting a divorce. Oh, 
Texas is a so-and-so state. You have to get my permission. Stop lying. Stop lying to yourself. He don't need your permission. Hell, I got divorced here in the state. All he got to do is put a notice in the newspaper. I, Gerald Johnson, seek a divorce from Jacqueline Suzette Wright Johnson. He could take it to court and they can grant him a divorce. You say you're not getting divorced. Guess what? The judge got the final say. And you keep saying, oh, I'm going to be a widow next. Ma'am, that is a threat. You can't blame it on mental illness. You can't blame it on you being funny. It's too many videos out here. Do you want Goomba to die or do you want to die? Are you trying to get suicide by cop? What the hell is going on, girl? My ex-husband was in New York. I just had to have him uh, served by a um, like a constable or sheriff there. Sign a little paper and send it back to me. Um, what do you call that? Mer certified mail, a little green thing. I had to have that. Exactly. I was so excited. I was like, oh, okay. She got a platform, love her art of music. But guess what? When you have a mental illness that she has, that she is not addressing, you have all these great ideas, but you also have impulsivity. And you also have a proclivity to not follow through with projects. You are an entertainer and an artist that needs, one, your medicine and your therapy, and you need structure. You need a set schedule. So you actually complete things. We've been seeing you and Goomba driving around for two months, and I don't think I ever saw y'all say, oh, we're going to a gig. I think the one time we saw you going to a gig, you're like, oh, we're going to Louisiana. And then you said, oh, uh, uh, the, the owner of the club doesn't want me to perform there because of Rock Nation. What the hell? I think no clubs in Dallas or the Soto. People, uh, superstars during the pandemic had whole concerts in their goddamn living room. They turned on the line and it started. Then you said Goomba, uh, the the her your band tried to toss Goomba out. That wasn't even your band. It was like karaoke or something, open mic night. Why you gotta be lying? Hey. And this is the thing, like. Let's say this is the thing she could have did. This is me. Her in laws was in the Kojic Church. Kojic Church, the third largest black denomination in the United States. Right? They have a really great music program. They brought their known, their great, one of their greatest things they that is their music department. Okay. The Clark sisters came out the Kojic Church. Okay, influence a lot of people out here. You could have been in the choir at the church leading songs. Y'all could have been down there at the uh the the, the the what do you call it the the, uh, the gospel awards, getting Grammys, going to churches, singing whatever. You could it was so many. You were living in Dallas. You could have got instead of with Carry On Franklin, your ass could have been getting songs written and produced by Kirk Franklin. Just, mm -mm. get out of your own way, Jacqueline. And guess what? I don't think you're a bad person. I just think you should do better. And I got some suggestions. You don't have to follow them. But guess what? It may be to your advantage not to keep doing the shit you're doing now. You keep calling on Goomba. You keep calling on Legend of the Barbershop. The stuff you want to happen to them, it's going to happen to you. 
You keep going into that jail. You keep going in the middle hospital. You're going to be staying there longer and longer every time you go. And the rest of us out here, and those of y'all who say, oh, I love Jag, Jag is telling the truth. She has been arrested four times in two months. You like Jag being out? Then maybe you need to encourage Jag to stay the fuck out of jail. Hey. Let me go That's true. I had a, I got a book off Amazon. How to how to get a divorce in Texas. That's the name of the title of the book. How to get a divorce in Texas. She used to go to Allure until she showed out there. See. And by the way, can we get a finished fucking song? Like, yeah. You want to uh, you want to cash up for me? Or me to put up your cash up on my channel? Can I get a finished product? A finished song. Ain't that right, boy? I think boys tell me it's time to get off of here. Thank you, Diggable Logic, Care Bear, Angel Wings, Pixie Dust, Betty Yellick, Shanna Lewis, um, Lindsay. Um, who else is in here? Respective Angle Show, Dr. Cynthia Lee Smith, Uncle Charles, um, even you, The Real TV. Nina Loves, Ebony Woods, um, let me see, oh, Quinondrum 93, uh, Messiah Birch, Charlotte, St. Cara, and Christina Taylor, Walter White, uh, your nose is cold, why your nose is cold? Um, let me see who else is in here. There's a lot of y'all in here here tonight. Thank you, thank you for built. Uh, incoming opinion. Thank you so much for being here. Um, let me see. I think that's it. Uh, thank you to those who will watch this on the replay. All right, uh, Jag. I don't hate you. I don't I don't think you're a bad person. I just think you need some real help. And some real help. And I don't know if you know how to ask for that. But I really hope and pray you get your shit together. I come I, I, I do criticize your behavior, but I actually do pray for you. I do. Thank you, TC, Gemini. Yeah, not a bad person, but bad character traits. Thank you. So, um, please like, share, subscribe. Um, I'll probably see y'all somewhere in someone's chat. If you'd like to support the channel, um, you can become a member of the channel, uh, buy me a coffee, or Cash App, Zelle, uh, PayPal, or, um, let's see, 
uh oh i have a teespring account i need to update my teespring with my products on there and um but if you can't do anything please do this please like share and subscribe and bring a friend next time okay all right shout out to my day one subscribers shout out to my day two shout out to the most recent subscribers who came i appreciate all of you uh y'all all have a good night and a blessed night uh and like i said jack please stop lying just like you you said thou should not bear false witness to gerald i need you to stop doing that too And if anyone else would like to come a part of the transcript committee, it's very easy. You can just email me and let me know uh, about some information that I may need to get to the masses. Okay. Uh, where's my email address? I think it's on here. Uh, Wait, where's my email address? Was it in here? <laughs> Betty, can you uh, post mine? <laughs> you, I like Chinese restaurant. Did you see me today? I went by Timmy Chan. I got a wing dinner with shrimp fried rice. And also, please check out the content creators that are in the chat. Um, we have uh, Digablog Dream of Chat, the Respective Angle Network. Uh, check out Incoming, uh, Incoming Opinion. Uh, it was someone else I saw in here who has their own chat. I think Gotham Huggins was in here earlier. I think he has his own channel. Gotham Huggins, can you please stay out of trouble, though? I keep hearing you getting in trouble. I'm just saying. All right. So. Well. Why? I just, ugh, you know what? Ain't my business. <laughs> but I'm gonna go watch it though. <laughs> I'm gonna go watch it though. <laughs> I ain't gotta take sides, but I can watch it. <laughs> hey, practice the living Hebrew. Thanks so much for watching. All right, I'll see y'all in someone's chat. Thank you so much for y'all's support. I really do appreciate it. Uh, hope. Uh, thanks for bearing with me with the, the new uh camera. Um, I'm still trying to get the uh the lighting. Oh, my hands look like this. Okay, so talk to y'all later. Okay, boy, boy wants my attention. He's probably let him go out, take a potty break. All right, talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs>